Welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe Langan. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started guys. So guys, in today's video, we will be making some dal cook-up, also known as shine rice. My Guyanese um, friends and family, they will know it as shine rice. Here are the ingredients you will need for this recipe. I have my rice and I'm using some brown rice and this is the Dave brand. I have some freshly grated coconut, my dal over here. And for green seasoning, I'm using a piece of onion, one red chili, scallions, celery leaves. I have some more onion here that I chopped. Um, I have some jeera, also known as cumin. Accent, adobo, chicken bulan, butter, garlic, salt, and oil. If I forgot anything, I will let you know throughout the video I'm using something else. So the next step we're going to do is I'm going to prepare my green seasoning. I'm just going to wash these and I'm going to blend them as fine as possible. So what I'm going to be blending is my celery leaf, my um, scallions, my onion, my red chili, and I am going to add in about four cloves of garlic. Here's a look at my green seasoning, guys. This is the consistency I'm gonna keep it in. My next step is I'm gonna add my split peas into my rice, and I'm gonna head over to the sink and I'll wash this and I'll be right back. So guys, my stove is on. And to my heavy bottom pot, I am adding in four tablespoons of oil. I'm going to allow my oil to come up to a nice hot temperature. My stove is on high heat, guys, if I didn't mention earlier. And to that, I'm going to add in one clove of chopped garlic. And I have some jeera. I'm going to add this in and we're going to just fry this and allow the jeera and the garlic to just infuse within the oil. So now that you start seeing your garlic um, getting nice and golden brown on the outside or the edges, you're going to add in your chopped onion. So it's about 30 seconds since I add in the onion and my garlic is nice and dark golden on the outside. So. I, here I have my rice that I already washed earlier and I'm just going to add this into the oil and right after I'm going to add in my butter I'm going to mix this in and allow my butter to melt so now that my butter is melted I'm going to add in all my green seasoning Right after, I'm adding in my accent, my chicken bouillon. Oh, this is my accent, sorry guys. Um, my chicken bouillon, my accent, and my adobo is in there. And I'm gonna mix this together. So now that this is all mixed and well combined, I'm gonna head over to my counter and start preparing my coconut milk so to my coconut I'm going to add in about six cups of water so now that you add your water to your coconut you're going to go in there with your hands and you're going to squeeze tightly and just the more you squeeze and massage your coconut like this the more white the water will get so you're trying to get all the milk out from the coconut. And you're gonna just squeeze the, the hocks of the coconut like this and get all the liquid out. Try to get as much of the hocks 
or the coconut um, crumbs out. And I'm gonna head over to the stove with that now. So guys, your next step is to grab yourself a hand strainer and you're gonna strain the coconut milk out. Look at how nice and white and milky that is. And you're just gonna squeeze to get all the water out of the coconut. And now we're gonna mix this in. Now you may need to add some more water to this later on down in the cooking process, but for now I added um, six cups of coconut milk, the water that I had, and I'm going to allow my stove to stay on high heat, and I'm going to cover this, and I'll give you guys a peek in about 30 minutes or so. So guys, here's a quick peek at my... Um, doll cook up. I add in uh, four cups of water there and I'm going to add in about six more cups. Now I'm going to just allow this to cook until my rice and my split peas is nice and soft and okay to eat. I'll give you guys a next look when this is halfway through the cooking process. Um, but for now, I'm just going to cover it and allow it to cook down. So we're going to taste this and we're going to adjust the salt. Not now, but when it's almost done. So we're just going to allow this to cook now. And I'll show you guys when it's halfway through the cooking process, guys. So guys, it's halfway through the cooking process. And I just want to give you guys a quick peek as to how it's coming up. Um... As you can see, my rice is almost halfway cooked and my dal is almost cooked as well. Um, it's, it's completely cooked, but by the end of the cooking process, it will melt away. You wouldn't see it, but if you like to see some dal, you just have to add it in a little bit later on in the cooking process. But I like to add it in the same time I'm adding in my rice. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks. I'm just going to allow it to cook down some more until there's no more water and the rice is completely soft to the way I like it. Uh, remember from time to time you will need to add in some more water. So far I guess I add in about um, 12 cups of water. So if you need to add some more you can go right ahead and add in some more depend on what rice you're using you may need to add more water than I am but I always like to use the Dave brand rice that's the Dave rice the Dave brown rice um, gives me a really nice outcome or a really nice result after it's done cooking so this is I'm gonna cover this now and allow it to cook some more and I'll show you guys the end results so guys, this here's the end results of my dal cook-up. Um, if it seems to be a little bit watery in the end, um, when it cools down, it will dry out some more. So don't be afraid. Um, at this time, if you would like to taste and adjust some of your salt, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but for me, this is good enough. I'm going to place this in my serving container and I'll show you guys the end results. So guys, here's the end result of our dal cook-up or shine rice as you may know it. We hope you enjoy this recipe. Now all that's left is for Chloe to try it and she will tell you guys how good it is. Time to try it. Time to try it. video thank you for watching see you in our next video